last night. An impact game as well is Sarah Land needed a win to stay alive in the playoff hunt. So looking to extend their season just a little bit longer. Senior night out at BC Rain. The Red Raiders could put a dagger in the Spartans playoff hopes if they came up with the upset. Could they do that? Well, Jack West early on hits Daniel Taylor for the easy score. It's Sarah Land on the board. Seven zip. Next possession. Spartans deep inside the red zone. Perry White takes a hand up the middle and strolls into the end zone to put the Spartans up two scores. Fans are traveling well over to BC Rain. And they're going to get more of what they came for. White takes a handoff again into the end zone. His second touchdown of the game. Sarah Land goes on to win it 35 to 12. That keeps their playoff dream alive. After the game, we caught up with head coach Jeff Kelly. A lot of respect for Coach Stone and his bunch. And, and uh, for us, it was a playoff game. We needed to win to get in the playoffs. And, and uh, proud of our guys coming over here and, and uh, getting it done. All right. Also last night, the regular season finale for number one Spanish fourth, the cheerleaders ready for the action. Toros strike first, Dayton Reader takes it in for the score, 7-zip. Spanish fourth and a celebration. Toros right back at it. This time they're going to go to the air. It's Jack Samsel dropping back. It's Connor Hegan. Oh, look at those push-offs. Not really stiff arms, just kind of, excuse me, as he gets people out of the way, gets into the end zone. Nice work there. LaFleur not going down without a fight. Dejan Felion pass. Uh, tipped and caught. Daniel Coleman for the touchdown. Not sure they drew it up that way, but hey, it's a score nonetheless. There you see the final, folks. Spanish Fort wins it 56 to 20. All right, so let's take a look here at the 6A playoffs. Lots of words on the screen. Let's break it down for you. Number one is Spanish Fort. They will host Pelham next week. Then you're going to see these same three teams. Wetumpka, Benjamin Russell, and Opelika were all tied heading into tonight. There's some complicated tiebreaker scenarios to see which of these three schools gets two, three, or four. Depending upon how that shakes out, Daphne will host one of them, and then Sarah Land and Blunt will be on the road to take on whoever the other two schools are, wherever they may fall. We should have that information soon, and we'll figure that out for you, of course, here on Fox 10. All right, after the break, re